secondary return for hot water or secondary hot water circulation. My name is Alan Hart and in today's video we're going to look at secondary hot water returns or secondary hot water circulation. Um, also if you could, if you, if you wanted to, we've got a join button now and all the money raised from that join button will be donated to charity. So if you want to come and join us and then you can have an influence on what videos we do, what vi videos we do next, etc. And just help along with the channel. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's get on to this video. What is a pumped hot water system? or pumped return and, and why would you need it um, so if you imagine a large house or a commercial property or a hotel or hospital etc large premises if you imagine the boiler room could be could be half a mile away and if you turn the hot tap on it take a very long time to get the hot water to the tap so what you need to do you need to make it so that when you turn the tap on, the hot water comes out as soon as possible. On small domestic systems, we tend to just put up with the fact that it takes X amount of time. But for instance, you've got a little bit of a larger system, then you could put a pumped um, return on. And, and how that works, how, how a pump return works for your hot water is, if you imagine your normal hot water cylinder, and you've got your hot water that comes off and your hot water comes off and it goes to so it's going in this direction and it's going off here to us bath with his little funny man in there excuse my drawings what a secondary return does is it makes this like a loop so instead of instead of having dead legs in system so if you imagine a normal system with this, if this one connected here, when you run this bath here, you've got to wait until you get all the hot water from here, all the way around here, all the way around here, all the way around here, and all the way to the bath. But what the what this pump does when we connect this back up here, this pump pumps or it circulates, should I say? And it circulates this water all the way around so it's going this way here and then back this way and back and back into the cylinder and I'll, I'll go through some of the calculations of this shortly um, so what that's doing it's circulating this hot water so that when you open the tap the hot water's almost instant so it's a, it's a really really good system especially for larger the uh, larger properties on top of the cylinder this is the hot water outlet and that goes to the hot tap and on this particular cylinder we've also got a hot water return so that's on a secondary secondary return and we've got a pump on here so that does a loop on the heat on the hot water circuit and that means that when they open the hot tap the hot water is almost instant so it's a lot better than waiting for what could be a very very long time this video is about hot water circulation just showing the principles of how that works it's not showing you so just ignore the cylinder it's not showing you how a cylinder works at the moment I have done another video on how a cylinder works. If you have a look here, if you click onto that, it, it sort of tries to show you as, as good as possible how a hot water cylinder works. Also, if you haven't done so already, please put a thumbs up. It really helps with the video. And also, if you could, please add a comment below because that helps with the video as well. This is the last job that I did where we installed a secondary return for the hot water. We removed a backsay open vent heat only boiler and we removed an old cylinder and then we replaced it with a Wiesmann system boiler and we piped it with a Wiesmann cylinder and we piped it up on a four pipe 
and then we put it onto multi zones so all the heating system was on multiple zones so like upstairs and downstairs and the loft area was all on separate zones and then the and the hot water was pumped so it were a pumped return and the reason we did that on that particular system was the they had sinks and the sinks was quite far away and when they run the hot tap on the sinks it took absolutely ages and when i mean ages it were like it seemed like five minutes it were it took a long long time to get hot water to the sinks but once we updated the system so we put the pump on we took a new pipe all the way around the system we lagged all the pipe and we put a proper circuit in and then once they opened the tap then it was almost instant and the customer was absolutely over the moon they were really really well really happy with that so now again now if we have a look at this what we've got we've got this pump here and the pump or the circulator is normally operated by a time clock which only permits water to circulate around the system when the building is occupied to so to conserve energy the secondary turn pipe normally includes the installation of a non-return check valve near the pump and it's not shown i've not shown it on here but you normally have a non-return valve on there and this connection here would normally tee back in or it normally goes back into the cylinder on the return at about 25 percent down on the cylinder normally when you buy an unvented cylinder you'll already have the connection to connect into um for this also you can buy cylinders with a connection in as well another thing to take note with this is we need to use a special type of pump or a special type of circulator and it's a bronze and it's improved bronze circulator so you wouldn't be able to use your normal pump that you have on your central heating system you need to use one that's RAS approved and that is okay for hot water and on some systems you may need to update the expansion vessel so on larger systems you may need a bigger expansion vessel so that's just something to look out for really obviously if it's an open uh, hot water then you wouldn't need to but you you would you may need to if it was an unvented cylinder or a sealed type system so that's just a little bit of an insight into secondary turn for your hot water how it works uh, hope you found this video of some use please if you have smash that like button really appreciate that just one thing to point out i'm not a trainer i'm just trying my best to help new people into the industry you do need to go on a training course if you're going to work on unvented cylinders you need to have your well all cylinders now anyway you need to go on a training course you need to have your qualifications to work on cylinders so please always go on the training courses and you're not allowed to work on unvented now uh, unless well for a lot of years unless you've got a qualification for it um, and we'll do some more videos on unvented cylinders shortly um, yeah i hope you found this video of some use um, yeah thanks for watching